Hey everybody, this is Ms. Dietrich. We're going to explore why 1 and a half divided by 3 fourths ends up being 2 by using this model. First of all, let's make sure we understand the little fractional pieces that we have down here. Now this right here represents, this is one square, and you can see that this can be broken up in a, in a lot of different ways. We can break it up into halves, we can break it up into quarters, we can break it up into eighths, or we can break it up even into sixteenths. Now, here's what I have right here on the, on the right hand side. We have one and a half represented here. See, it's one and a half, or three halves, right? One, two, three of the halves, if you like to think of it that way. We're going to break it up into three-fourths, or we're going to find out how many groups of three-fourths can we get in this. Now, here's a group of three-fourths, or here's a group of one-fourth. Let's clone this so that we have three of them. All right, so there's one group of three-fourths, you see it? One group of three-fourths. Now, can we get another one in there? Well, let's click and drag some more of these, right? This is a, a, three, a, a fourth, so let's clone it and clone it again. So we have three of them. See, there's three-fourths. So let's put that here, here, and here. All right, so again, let's kind of recap what we did. Move this right here. Let's circle our groups of three-fourths. Here's a group of three-fourths right here, and then we had another group right here. So if we count how many groups that is, isn't that two groups? See, one, two groups of three-fourths. So the answer is two.